We have our G87 M2 sitting exactly where we want it with the evolved lowering springs, but now it's time for a proper performance suspension upgrade. And that's where the MSS hybrid system comes in. Let's take a closer look at the parts before we put them on the car. This is MSS's hybrid height adjustable spring kit and it's an evolution of their normal height adjustable spring kit. And I'll tell you the reason for that. On the rear of the standard MSS spring kit, it is exactly the same as this. So it has one spring that is two spring rates, the adjustable collar in the middle and another spring, which is another spring rate. So that means it has three different spring rates on the rear, which allows for much more control. On the previous generation MSS height adjustable spring kit, you only had one spring on the front, which meant one separate spring rate. They have now got an additional collar in the middle here and another spring. So that's not a helper spring, that is a functioning spring. So it means you have two spring rates on the front and three spring rates on the rear. And that translates into a very smooth compliant ride but also gives you lots of handling benefits because it means the tires are in contact with the road more, which means you have more grip. And it's an absolutely fantastic system. We've had it on our touring for 5,000 miles and I've been super impressed with it. And in our opinion, it's the best spring setup for a stock damper that you can get on this platform. These bottom parts are machined and they replace the stock seat on the stock damper and they also allow for adjustment on the drop link for the anti-roll bar. Also comes with a set of bump stops to increase the travel and a spanner to adjust the height. Let's get these on the car. We'll take a closer look after the car's finished and I can take it out for a drive and tell you what it's like. So in my initial review of the G87 M2, I said that it had lost none of the spirit that the F87 had. It's engineered to be more fun than the M4. And I think because of the short wheelbase, 
when you were really pressing on on country lanes it seemed a little jittery and the MSS has just smoothed that out and that's because of the multiple spring rates it has not only on the rear with the three separate spring rates but also on the front and I was slightly concerned as I was with the M4 CSL when we put the MSS hybrid kit on it that it would take some of that fun aspect away and I can confirm that it really hasn't it's just enhanced it by keeping the car a lot flatter through the corners and sure-footed when the road surface is quite bad but it just helps the car soak up the bumps and one of the advantages of this kit is obviously it's height adjustable so you can set it to where you want it but that also means that you can corner weight the car and retain the stock EDC dampers which are actually pretty good on this car and the F80 M3 it was a common complaint that the dampers weren't fantastic um, and that's one of the reasons why we do our own dampers with Bilstein and they've been selling really well and a lot of people have talked about the benefits of our dampers on that car and in terms of normal driving with this it feels like a bigger car so on normal highways when you're cruising along I think it feels like it's got more refinement so it feels more like a 5 than a 2 and I noticed that with our G81 M3 Touring even though it's lowered by quite a significant amount when you're doing long journeys it just feels like a bigger luxury car and it really soaks up the road really well and it's the same kind of effect on this without losing any of the fun elements you have when you want to press on and I think that's the only point where the stock suspension can get really upset is when you're pushing on and the road surface is quite bad and just lowering the car with for example the evolved springs as I said that's not a handling mod that is aesthetic so it gets you where you want to be but if you actually enjoy driving your car enthusiastically the MSS hybrid is going to be the way to go it's a sophisticated setup um, dual spring rates on the front triple spring rates on the rear it just works really well with this car. I can't wait to try this on track now. Had the M4 CSL on track at Goodwood and a Nürburgring and I absolutely loved it. And that brings me neatly onto the next stage of this project. Now with it, the MSS Hybrid is to retrofit all of the CSL parts so we've worked out what parts we need and that will fit the M2 to make it hopefully feel like an M4 CSL so that's going to include engine mount, gearbox mounts and anti-roll bars and the front hubs for the camber. I'm really looking forward to that because I imagine that's what the M2 CS or M2 CSL will have when it's released by BMW and if we can make this feel like an M4 CSL in a smaller package, that's going to be amazing. So I will leave you while I'm enjoying this beautiful road and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you liked the video, please remember to smash that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you want to join the conversation, please drop a comment below and we'll try our best to respond to you. If you want to watch more of this project, you can do so over here. If you want to watch what YouTube thinks you might like from our other content, you can do so over here.